When we had this opportunity to do artwork for the Botanic Gardens, we both thought we've got to do this together. Absolutely. Um, when we're at the, in the gardens, we feel peace. We feel peace and tranquility and um, a belonging um, oh, yeah. to, this, to this land, the Durable Lands. It's a very strong connection that we both have. Mm -hmm. And I think that it portrayed throughout the, throughout the artwork, the design, the process, the, process, the collaboration. It flowed really well through the whole thing. The workshops flowed well, the ideas were great. Yes. Um, and working with the staff here was amazing. Also, all the workers that work so hard, the scientists, uh, that was a journey. To go through and see what they do and to visit them and have explanations was very interesting. Uh, it was actually so enlightening. Um, I learned things that I never thought I would ever know about um, how the scientists and how everything comes together with the plants, uh, the endangered species. Um, finding those little microscopes. Yes. That was the biggest that find of all. They were amazing. The first time we looked through it, we were like little kids. Oh, we were like little kids. Little kids. Yes. And, and to be able to use that to show people what we saw when we saw the image yeah. under the microscope and to see parts of our design develop from that and to yeah. see what we were talking about, those microscopes were gold. They were gold. The gum tree is the lifeblood of the Cumberland Plains woodlands. Yes. It is the lifeblood of most of our ecosystem. Yeah. Without that, you wouldn't have all the rest of the ecosystem. No. But, but the DNA then is the lifeblood that they use to do research to help. Help. To make help new medicines, to make, keep things alive, to develop them and reinstate that ecosystem. Absolutely, yes. So that's the good type of work that they do here. Yeah, amazing work and... and amazing people. And amazing people, yes. So Mount Annan has always been a meeting place. A major meeting place for lots of tribes. The main three tribes were Ganangara, Darik and Darawal. Uh, but lots of other tribes also came. It was a meeting place for Karabis. It was a meeting place for trade. It was a meeting place for, for marriages and for, for disputes and for ceremonies. It has always been a spiritual and, and, and and meaningful place. And with having the Botanic Gardens here, it is back at that. It is still now a meeting place. It's, it is a meeting place that people come here now to um, come together for ceremonies, marriages, and also for the gardens for its spectacular um, displays of flowers and um, plants. And keeping it all as one, so it's still a meeting place at Mount Annan on Durrawal country. So with this artwork, um, both Susan Grant and I will be part of this, this absolutely stunning facility for a long, long time. For us, it's helping other people see what we see. To be in this beautiful place, to be in this beautiful gardens, which for us um, has a very good and strong spiritual connection. When we first came here and we first saw the building, we were blown away. And then standing in the hollows and looking back out, we could see the pole became a tree. We could see that, that it was connecting not just us to the land, but connecting up to our ancestors and connecting them back to the land. It was a big spiritual thing and every time I speak to it, even now, I get goosebumps. Goosebumps and, and know that they're here with us. For us, this is not just a beautiful artwork about a beautiful place that's doing beautiful work. It is a beautiful connection to nature and to our ancestors and the all that went before. When our roots go into the ground, this is where they travel back into the pathways. So this is where our knowledge is learned and traced back through history. This is something that we can dance on, walk on, 
guide the central circles of the DNA is to represent the lifeblood of a First Nations people and also the DNA of the plants which originally were how we're all created. This spiritual connection for me is something absolutely wonderful. So creating this and be making it come alive has been something uh, tremendously, I'm tremendously grateful for how it's um, developed. I love it and um, I hope everybody else loves it and especially the Dharawal Nation and all the nations. So please come and enjoy and this is somewhere where we can all gather together as one. Thank you. Thank you.